This video shows how to write an on-click event on in a React link. So this is what you see there as a small function or in React. Uh, and I explain you the code because sometimes it's a little bit tricky if you do uh, some mistyping. So what we have here is um, just in here when you use the link something like this and um, then you have to import here the simply this line uh, and by the way you will find the code on my website so you can uh, copy paste it into your site so this is um, when you use the link element then you will find here something like this uh, because i had a lot of problem here all the time link and then you make an uh, href um, that's you 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 have to set a href in uh, in the, when you use the link and then you say on click equals and then the curly brackets this on click uh, then the, the function without uh, without this uh, without the function um, uh, brackets so uh, you should not use the uh, the round brackets uh, and then when you have typed it like this then uh, all what you have to do you have to say, uh, imp import or to uh, insert the same with the same num uh, name um, function inside your uh, inside your component uh, be careful don't uh, what I did for a time long uh, I had my function here uh, I didn't didn't care about uh, I didn't have uh, mistyped so uh, keep care that you uh, that you don't imp uh, insert it uh, in the constructor uh, I was myself uh, hanging around looking for code because I uh, I didn't watch this um, this brackets uh, and you have to pay attention that you ha uh, place it here in, uh, in the space between otherwise you w it's quite difficult to find the solution okay uh, that's enough for this uh, mistyping um, simply take this function on click and then uh, event in the ins inside uh, inner side and then uh, make something like alert or another call you may call another uh, method or function like this one what I want to do uh, now I simply took an alert in there and if you take the event in the inside then you may also say uh, event dot prevent default um, this is necessary if you uh, want to prevent the href uh, to go further so uh, when you when you don't type it and use it where is it yeah when you use it in this case <coughs> now that's I refreshed it when you when I click now there you will see uh, my site will come in uh, breakpoint doesn't work in this case um, then you then the the method comes comes in or the code comes in and runtime and now it's refreshing the it should re sometimes it refreshes that side control s if you don't use this one the ah if you don't use the event there and <coughs> you may do it in two ways either you use the a href they are absolutely similar simply type an a uh, html href there then when you use it here for example and refresh it then you will see that it normally <laughs> it should <laughs> it should refresh that's what i wanted to say is uh, you should take here the event prevent uh, default which means it uh, it doesn't stop uh, it stops um, and uh, in uh, in jumping into the, 
to refreshing the site and after this you always have the problem with the browser history uh, when you go back so that's why you have to say here uh, event prevent default um, and you will find as always my code here on my website uh, it sounds to be easy but it's not that easy all the way if you sometimes have a problem and f won't find a solution so uh, because I was hanging around now for two hours to find a solution of that and you will find the code on the site